Hi, this is Marie from Creations. This time we're adding images to our Viewmaster Reels. Now there's two ways that we can do it. We can do it a single image at a time. And you notice what I've done is I've simply put two small images and I've reversed them one to the other. Now would this really work in a real master? No, but it is kind of interesting that you can see all these pictures at least once and that halves the number of images that you have to make smaller and fit in these particular areas. Now let's look at the other way here and that's to have one image What we've done is we've transformed this and rotated it a little bit. So we're getting a little bit of the blackbird over here and a little bit of the flower here and a lot of the duckweed and some of the swamp. Now what we need to do is actually mask out all this stuff we don't want to see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here to the mask icon and I'm going to hold on my alt or my option key when I add the layer mask. That fills this with black. You see when black is filled the layer is hidden. So I need to grab my brush tool. I'm going to tap the B and make sure I'm painting in white. Then I'm going to be painting in the areas that I want to come back. That's a little bit tedious and I've tried several ways to be able to use the selections I've already made here but it doesn't seem to work the way I want it to and sometimes it's just as easy to go ahead and maybe not the most elegant way but the simplest way. Now I suppose if you really wanted to, you could make a composite all at once and move it in one at a Time rather than having to do it an image at a time. You could make all the composite, all the images together first, but that would require an awful lot of measuring and planning and all sorts of fun stuff. Okay, so that went fairly quickly. Let's go back down here to this. What I'm doing here is I'm going to my mini bridge and if you can't see mini bridge you need to go to window extensions and choose it. And I've navigated in mini bridge to this folder of birds. Well here's a nice one. I'm just going to drag this over into the photo. You'll notice it comes in quite large. I don't want to zoom in and out all the time. I'm going to hit the link between the horizontal and the vertical, or width and height. Tap the height and say, oh, let's look and see what 25% does. Well, 25% isn't right, but it gets us into the ballpark where we can at least see what we're doing. So I'm going to skew this a little bit, rotate it around. I'm going to make it smaller. And to keep its proportions, I'm going to hold down the shift key and have it get smaller from the center. I'm going to hold down the alt key and then drag in from the corner. Then we can do some fine tuning adjustments so we can see both our swans in here. Okay, then I'll hit the um, commit key. I'll make a duplicate of this, Command or Control J. 
I'll get my move tool, move it down here. I'll free transform, command or control T, hold down my right rack or my right mouse key or my control key and flip that horizontally, which means we'll have to whoops, rotate it again, make a few adjustments in location, and go ahead and commit this. And we'll do that one more time. Go to mini bridge. Well, by golly, here's one that's not a bird. I don't know how he got in here. Let's look at, uh, we've got one, though we don't have one of these guys, so let's put him in here a little chickadee. Drag him in, close bridge, move him in with our control, or command or control. Shift, Alt, Option, I'm sorry. We'll rotate this around. And actually on this guy, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to move him down to here and make him fit this one. Just a little smaller there. And then I'm going to Duplicate him, Control or Command J. Move it up here. Control T, transform, flip horizontal. And move him around to where he roughly matches the one on the other side. And I'll just hit my Enter key and go from there. So that's one of the ways that we can fill these in. Now we've got these, they're looking pretty good. Uh, there's one other thing we could do, so let me zoom back in. And that is to select an area. I didn't practice this ahead of time, so I'm not sure that this is going to work the way I want it to. I'm going to get my magic wand tool. I'm going to Click inside this empty reel. Then I'm going to go over to Bridge. And we'll get the same set of birds photos. And let's see here. There's a single swan. We've done swans. There's our chipmunk. Well, this is kind of cute. He's a... a baby sandhill crane. So let's choose this one. And we're going to say... Copy. Now, I haven't tried this ahead of time. I'm not sure it's going to work. I'm going to go back over to Photoshop. And then we're going to go to Edit, Paste Special, Paste Into. Uh, no, that didn't seem to work. Alrighty. Let's open this. And select the part we want using the Rectangular Marquee Tool. And then copy it and then go back over to our template, file, or edit, paste special, paste into. There we go. Now you notice it came over here and it made a layer mask. Now I'm going to transform this because it is so very big compared to the rest of it. Now another option you might want to consider is leaving all these pictures right side up. That's entirely up to you. 
So we'll get our magic wand tool. Go back down to our real layer and select another one. We'll go over to bridge. We'll open this. Get the rectangular marquee tool. And I'm making these rectangular because so are our openings. I'll copy, move back over to our other one. I'll paste special. And you see there is a paste into shortcut. I think it's Alt Shift Control V. We'll transform it. the heck it's fighting me just a little bit and there we go that's done go back to the original layer magic wand tool W go to bridge Let's time. Let's open this one. Get the rectangular marquee tool. Copy the part we want. Move back over to our view master. Edit. Paste special. Paste into. Transform. ahead and zoomed out so I could see where the transform handles were. I'll we'll zoom back in. And see if we can get to Sky. There we go. To where he's peeking out. So anyways, we've looked at three different ways you could add pictures to these. And with this many openings, it's going to take a while. One of the things that you might also want to try, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to make a new layer. And I am going to my shape tool and I want a rounded rectangle. And let's see kind of what how round that is. Not enough. Let's make a radius of 50. See, that's where practicing ahead of time is nice. And what I'm trying to do is kind of match the radius that's already on there. And that's not enough. So I'll undo this and make this 100. And then I'll click and drag that tool again. All oh, looking much better. Now this time, we can add another photo. And we'll go back to Mini Bridge for that. We've used a blackbird, so what if I'm looking for something new here? There's Mrs. Blackbird. Well, shoot. Well, let's just go ahead and cheat and put this little squirrel in there. And drag him up there. Close mini bridge. And move him right about here. And I want him only in the area that I just defined. So I'm going to, well, first I have to uh, complete the transformation. Except that I didn't complete it. I canceled it. So let's complete the transformation. I want to go to layer and I want to create a clipping mask and a clipping mask is simply a way to have this image only show in the shape that I made so we can get our move tool and move this around but he doesn't look quite right 
all the other things have shadows. So let's see what happens if we add that same shadow to that rounded rectangle. You know, I'm not so sure I like that. So I'm going to undo that. And I'm going to go over here to... Let's zoom in just a tad bit. There we go. So we can see most of what we've got here. I'm going to try something. I want to make this look like it's embossed, stuck into the background. So I'm going to try a pillow emboss. And let's look at the depth. And then maybe size. Nah, I don't want to mess with size too much. And I'm also going to cheat and try one other thing. I'm going to try an inner glow. But you remember that the yellow doesn't do us any good, so I'm going to change that yellow to black and change the blend mode to multiply. And then I'm going to increase the size. And that makes it look as if this were shadowed or cut into our background. And then we'll just say OK. Zoom back out. And now I think this looks crowded on this side. So I am going to find all of these pictures. I'm going to start and, and get this real and all of the pictures that we put underneath of it. I'm going to click on the first one, shift click on the last one, grab my move tool, and move that over there but we do have a slight problem. So I'll undo that. And I need to find, let's see. The blackbird is the one I want out of here. So I'm going to control or command click on the blackbird. And then I can move this to where it looks good. And I see I have one problem there with the chickadee. So I'm hoping it's the top chickadee on a twig. There we go. And then I want to have that blackbird. And I'm going to click on that. And then I am going to control or command click on the reel that I've put it on and then scriggle this over just a little bit. I'm also going to command click on the words and move those around a little bit. I'm going to collect, get the chipmunk layer and the rounded rectangle layer and move them over just a little bit, just to make it a little more aesthetically pleasing. So you can see we've, we've scanned our reels and our envelope. We've selected them away from their backgrounds. We've put them into a new composition. We've added images to all of them. And the reason we used, used a round rectangle here is because when you look through the Viewmaster, that's what you're seeing. It's a rounded rectangle. It's similar to the little rectangles here. So it's, it's just a thought, a way to make a composition using a vintage item. It takes your photography to a new level towards the arts. So have fun and hopefully we'll do some more. I want to do tapes and thumbtacks and all sorts of fun stuff. But we're uh, all about going one step farther to get away from the snapshot. Thanks.